this video could be really boring to watch to the end, so I've speeded it up here for you. Basically, you need to make some rings, tie them together with strings, and that'll keep everything neat as long as they're all pointing all the way down the stack. Oh, and there's the word lark's head nod. So, like I say, rings, keep them neat. There's the line that goes down the center, that sort of thing. Put some strings, in, um, yeah, poke a stick in it. It's going to get really boring if you watch all the way to the end. There you are. Three rings to make. Oh, one at the top. And there's a couple at the bottom. Compress them down with those bits. Right, 14 minutes of joy coming up. Oh, go make a cup of tea instead. Here's the first piece at the top of the kite. And hoisted at the very top by your tree, we have a bearing here and a wee wheel. Uh, this can be unknotted. Just by pulling on that rope. Oh, there go. So you got a stopper knot at the top, you would lark's head, your tree, and your pulley onto that and lift this piece up into the air. This rope freely spins round inside here. I'm going to trim this a little bit more so that, that doesn't catch on there, there's no risk. And there's your lift line up to this lifting junction here. This is the only one with a knot below it. Of, of these nylon pieces. I think they're nylon food grade plastic of some sort, very soft and giving, but still firm enough in tension. So this lifts up, this part here is lifted by that main lifting rope and lines off of here. You'll see they all come down onto this ring. So there's the lifting point. They all come down onto, we'll make that ring in a wee second. There's the main lifting line going to carry on. We'll thread that down all the way through the kite as we go. And these six lines will actually go to the top of the kite ring. They're big enough that they're going to fit the next, the, the big main diameter. That's the very top of the kite and it looks end up like this. So this is what you're going for. But invariably when you come to make it, because it's, you know, there's a lot of string hanging off. There's six strings hanging down on the edge. There's one string hanging down in the middle and there's a big long set of strings going up here. Invariably you're going to end up tangling at some point, but don't worry, just loosen everything off, pull everything out. It'll all come out into this shape. You've got two joints, one here, one on the other side. To get them to work, pinch the edges, push down so that the two rods are pointing straight at each other. And then, you know, mate the two together inside that sock. And then that sock compresses on so that they're held together there. You then push this edge down so that those two are pointing straight at each other. Couple and close the Velcro over the, the webbing on here. So that's a Dacron sleeve that goes around a carbon rod. And let me see that there. And Dacron's just, you know, it's quite tough stuff. And then I've got a bit of Velcro on the ends. Sorry, sorry you can't see that so very well. I'll pull that apart. And you've got a rod end and a socket end of each of the, there was two sticks at the start that we make that hoop with. So again, when you come to make it, you'd press that end down on the ground and squash. Next part needs to go on will be the kite turbine. So each one of these outer pieces has got a wee loop on the end. So you turn that loop over on itself to make a wee catching loop. The lark's head knot. That, those will connect to make that neat shape. Fold those over, pinch on two. Kite turbine. And the kite turbine will be in a bag, a bit like that. And it's three kites. The kites have got a bit of stiffening along the leading edge, just like before. The bridles are tucked inside these pockets. The bridle also has a line which goes over here, this ring that goes around. So this is a ring cuff, uh, just like on here, but slightly bigger Dacron. It's got to take these five by seven 
by one six zero zero carbon tubes. So they would go into this sleeve. Well, you take a ring, take the three kites like this, and you'll see they've gone into a pattern where you've got a kind of ring there, one following the other already. So this one is going to follow this one, it's going to follow that bottom one there. Open it up and you know, have one person hold each kite maybe. There's the join where we're going to compress all the rings from. Open it up and pull this out. There's one of the tags where the lark's head is going to go on. You see where you've got these two rings. Um, the split rings there, which hold the lines down. You've got those, you've also got a little tag. Remember, this is going to be down towards the generator on the top side of the kite. This is going to be up towards either your lifting kite or your tree. So this lift part is going to be at the top. These lines going down have to go onto the top. Yeah, so that's going to be the top of this part. Again, with this, just like setting up here, you might get some tangles, but it should come apart fairly easily. The main structure is, again, you've got one of these uh, six-way nylon spacers in the middle. It's a little white ring. That goes in the very center. This line's, the center line is going to go through it. So you'd spread it out on your field. Take the rods. The pointy end first, find this opening. You can see there are further openings around the circumference, just behind, just behind the kites here there are further openings. That helps you when you're taking the kite apart as well. It'll just make it a bit easier to, or when you're putting it together. If you think something's loose, you can easily put them into each other here, these rods. Pull this out, just run the material out ahead of the rod. Push it in. Get the next one. Oh. There's six in total. And you just keep going until you've made the complete ring. I'm not going to do it in the kitchen here because it's a little bit small. Once you've set your ring out and round, you should have the bridling lines come out of where they were previously bunched up before and scrunched in there. Pull the bridles out of there. Once you take it out, check that each of the lines, here you can see it comes to one single line. It breaks there into three, a black and two yellows. That yellow starts splitting, as does that yellow, into further bridling on the kite. But each line, it's quite tricky to see against the radiator there, I suppose, but each line runs straight to a bridling point, either on the kite or on the ring there. And that one on the ring is so that we can extend further layers of kite up above, further sets of rings. See on the back of this ring is the small point that the top piece will catch onto. And so that's where we'll use the lark's head knot from the previous step linking onto there to lift up the top of this kite. So all that single line comes down to one of these split rings. So you can get that in focus, sorry. Oh. Now these split rings are quite hard to take apart. Uh, they're quite a, quite a heavy grade. Still not getting focus, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, quite a heavy grade of split ring. So you'll need a, a fairly sharp tool to open those up. Now that split ring from the kite comes down onto the next a smaller ring, which uh, is made out of three rods, and not the six that the, the kite turbine is made out of. So that's made of three rods. Then we go down to one made of two rods. Then we go down to the smaller rings, and eventually onto the ground generator down here to take the power out from the bicycle wheel. So again, this goes together by pushing the rods together. I'll have to straighten this out into a 
more circular shape instead of three lines. Again, flatten this off so I can connect those rods together. I'm going to push that down against the floor. It's very hard to do on the slippy floor, and I can't really demonstrate holding the phone. Or, um, yeah, if you're doing this on on ground, it's a, it's a lot easier. So, make this ring and connect that one. Of, you've got three of these points, three of these rings to connect onto. Every second one, there are six possible options, but do it onto every second one onto that ring of three. I'll put that ring together and show you now. All right, so this is the ring that you come down to. No doubt there'll be some sort of fankle, you know, I've got a line around there, or you know, something will be poking about and it'll be a wee bit hard to disassemble. Eventually, I'm making it sound a lot harder than it is. This, uh, you know, it makes a ring, six lines coming off of it, Six lines going into the centre, yet again, one of these six-way white spacers. So they're always the key to each one of these rings, really. That's where the, the centre is. Let's have a look at the lines. When you come to putting the two parts together, make sure the whole thing is flat and that they go in at least five centimetres into each other. Then you've got one end here on the closure um, of the hook, one loop. That goes off. Pull it so that they come together there. Very nice and tight. Flatten the thing off. Probably got too much Velcro in there, but eh. Three lines. Let's go clip these two together. So skip two. Next one down there. Skip two. And skip one. So you know, every second is where you're connecting to. So one, three, change back, and not six. Lots of evens, whatever you like. And build the next ring. Oh, look, that's a bit tangled. So you'd have to unravel that. It's going to be out over there. I can see it's up here where it's tangled. Build that ring. Again, tangled over there. Press that down to the floor. It's jumping about a lot. Best if you have someone help you. Find these two ends in here. Push them together. Find them. There they are. One cap, one rod. So we're getting down close together. Make sure they're in alignment. Then push together so that I give five centimeters push from one to the other. Put that line tight. And you should see it's starting to take shape. And this, there's six lines coming down cleanly to this one. Have a look down this end because this has caught some bits here. Oh, look, it's gone through one of those. That's maybe going up there. That one's going through. Yeah, a wee bit of tangle avoided. You can see now that see that bottom one and that top one. Is this top one on the wrong side? Yes, it is. That's meant to be up there. It's on the top now. Connect these two together. Again, squash down the back one's calf. Compress it with the belt cool. Have I got that right? Let's double check. It's six lines between those two. Six lines between the next two small ones. And the one this last small one. Again, you get some small loops on here. And these go onto the wheel. It's just Lark's head not to make. I'll probably make them slightly bigger. I'm, I think I'm going to replace these. You can see these are made out of old sailcloth. And actually, this was uh, rodding like for electrical installations where you twist two pieces together. I've used uh, GRP rods for these ones. It's five mil, I think. Possibly six mil. No, I think that's five. Um, and I've used two pieces there, two sections, and cuffed it inside the sleeve and gone over the top with, um, I think that's one and a half mil Dyneema line going down the outside there. Again, Lark's head knot goes onto the power takeoff wheel. Well, that's pretty much all you need to stick together, apart from putting again through each one of these. You'll see the center line goes down 
all the way through each one of these and onto the motor down below the generator down there.